Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Usman. Today we're going to be looking at another Zippo insert and this time it's the double butane one. Now, in a previous video, I reviewed the ARC insert specifically for cigar smokers and I talked about how it's pretty much useless for cigar smokers. However, in a lot of other different use cases, it's probably quite useful, but for cigar smokers, not that great. I also reviewed the uh, standard soft flame liquid fuel version of the Zippo insert, the one that you receive whenever you purchase a new Zippo lighter, and I love that. I talked about how using that on your cigars will not ruin it. Liquid fuel, specifically Zippo liquid fuel, does not impact your cigars in any way, shape, or form. Honestly, it makes no difference at all. You can use them, it's perfectly fine. However, I get that some people would rather use a butane lighter, perfectly reasonable, and the good thing is Zippo does have a butane insert for their lighters, and it's the uh, single butane one and the one that I've got, the double butane one. And the double butane one is the one that I got because I figured more flames, you can light them, you can light uh, heavier ring gauge cigars with them, and that's the reason why I bought them. So I've been using this for a good couple of months now, and the lighter that I bought with it is uh, the uh, high polished brass green dragon lighter this is a 360 engraved lighter from zippo this is not a custom lighter you can actually purchase it directly from the zippo website or amazon available both in the us and the uk i feel like i'm in an ad sorry i didn't mean to come across like i'm trying to sell this to you but it's what i'm trying to say is my gold lighter that i bought unfortunately it's not available to purchase in the uk anymore you can only purchase it if you're in the us but this one i'm just saying that it's available because it's a standard production one so you can buy it from the zippo website or from amazon if you prefer just saying that it's available not trying to sell it to you but this lighter i love it i think zippo have completely outdone themselves in terms of the design it's a 360 high polished brass and that's those are the kind of lighters i prefer i prefer the armor lighters because they're they're, they're much sturdier they have better designs and they just look beautiful like this one honestly it's just stunning the way the color shifts the way that it's been designed the dragon everything oh so so good looks brilliant next to my gold lighter as well so i use this in conjunction with my soft flame gold lighter and yeah i think this is great but the review isn't about the actual lighter shell it's about the insert and this insert bit of a mixed one really a uh, bit of a mixed bag so in the fact that you've got a double butane lighter means that you can use it effectively on cigars however there are uh, a number of drawbacks with this uh, insert which means that it's not the most practical one for the, the first thing is the size the size of it obviously it needs to be this small or this large in order for it to fit in a zippo shell otherwise any other size it wouldn't fit but the size of this means that the capacity is pretty poor it's in fact it's really poor if you're lighting a cigar um when you light a cigar you need to be able to toast the cigar and then light it slowly. That's the best way to light a cigar. The slower you light a cigar, the better it's going to be. The, the fewer issues are going to crop up. You know, you're not going to get issues like tunneling or uh, get like a charred cigar or something to that extent. You don't want that, so you light your cigar slowly. But this, the way that it's been built, the way it's been designed and its capacity means that you can't really do that because... If you leave this on for longer than, let's say, 10 seconds, it will start overheating. It gets really, really hot. And if you take your time to light your cigar, by the time you finish lighting your cigar, you're probably three quarters of the way through in the capacity. So capacity wise, it's really, really poor. And the fact that you can't use it for prolonged periods means that you can't light your cigar with this properly. So a little bit crappy in that regard, disappointed honestly about that and it really does get very very hot and i mean burn the end of your fingers hot this button gets extremely hot the light starts getting hot as well and then this thing over here it's very hot honestly i'm not kidding when i say this gets hot it gets really hot you will burn your fingers by the time you light a 52 ring gauge cigar if you light it properly anyway and because of that i think that if you're if you're planning on using it just as a lighter fine but if you're a cigar smoker who smokes cigars that are larger than i don't know 40 ring gauge this isn't the most practical solution and you know capacity wise it's a small size there's there's just no way around it like this light over here this lighter that i bought for a tenner it's much larger than the zippo insert so the capacity of this is going to be significantly greater as well and there's just no way around that. 
if your, if your lighter is small, the capacity isn't going to be that much. It's just physics. It's just what it is. You know, the amount of butane that you can put into this, it's not going to be anywhere near as much as you can in one of these or even something larger. And that's the key issue. The other thing is the design of it. Although the design of this is reminiscent of Zippo's, it's not satisfying to use. Like when you flick up, when you flick open a Zippo, there's something quite satisfying of being able to do that and then just flick it on. You know, there's that tactile feel to it. And when you use like a soft flame and you've got that wheel and flint motion, there's something really quite nice about it, the way that the flame comes out. And I love that about Zippo's, but you can't do that with this because you've got a button. And you know, you gotta flick that on in order to be able to use it. Just not the same. And I think that Zippo really missed a trick on this one because they could have implemented a wheel design on this one as well. Like kept everything else the same, sealed at the bottom, you know, the ability to change the uh, uh, the amount of the, the, the size of the flame and being able to uh, put butane in. That perfectly fine. But if they just added a wheel section over here with a flint system, which has been done by lighter manufacturers like Dunhill and Mr. Brog, so it's not like it's not possible, definitely is possible. And I think Zippo really missed a trick on that one. That would have been fantastic. I know that there may have been some issue with like um, butane constantly being on or something, but they could have just put in a system like a lever system with this little hammer over here. Like, I don't know, you know, somehow put in like a little, uh, little lever that kind of closes the supply off when it's when this is closed and opens the supply when you flick it on so maybe they could have done it maybe it's not possible I don't know but I think the Zippo missed the trick with the um, by uh, not producing this as a wheel and flint lighter and having it as a let's be fair a boring button lighter which I feel like after the few hundred uses, it's probably gonna break. So that sucks. But other than that, I think that the um, butane insert that Zippo's produced, it's great to see them producing these kinds of things, but for cigar smokers, not one, not something I would recommend. Anyway, just wanna say thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, hit the like button, please subscribe, share this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.